All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step five. All right. So HTML5 has some elements that identify different content areas. These elements make our HTML easier to read and help with search engine optimization, SEO, and accessibility. Little aside right here, if you've never heard of search engine optimization, I would argue and say that knowing this right here is more important than knowing this or any other coding, honestly, because if you know search engine optimization, you can get your content seen. And if you can get your content seen, then you are well on your way to uh, the big bucks, all right? Uh, so now we're gonna identify the main section of this page by adding a main opening tag, pardon me, before the H1 element and a main closing tag after the P element. So this is not best practice, ha adding the main after the fact. What we wanna do pretty much always is make the containers before we put stuff in it. We wanna have this stuff planned out and do this stuff beforehand. I mean, naturally, sometimes we're gonna to have to do it after the fact, but we w when we're uh, really cooking and we really know what we're doing, we wanna do this beforehand. So we're gonna have main right here, and then at the end, we're gonna push uh, backspace and main like this, excuse me, slash main like this, all right? So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step six, and we'll see you next time.